everyone welcome to my channel let's talk about it media 21 please like comment and subscribe and please hit the notification bell that way every time i upload a video you will be the first one to see it no all comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only where we discuss celebrity news celebrity gossip what's going on on ig and google and what's the hot topic for the day or the week fair use Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, to comment and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell that way every time I upload a video you'll be the first one to see it so let's get into it let's talk about it we're going to talk about Kanye West and Bianca are actually spotted out with Russell Simmons going to the movie okay she's being introduced to the friends you know Russell Simmons has been in the industry for many many years a lot of times when someone's meeting with Russell Simmons it's a boss move Russell Simmons is the man that helps many people start businesses, get businesses off the ground. He's been known to assist many people in doing extremely well in the industry, in the music industry. For him and Kanye to be able to meet up, I call this a definite boss move because he's going to be able to do whatever he needs, how he needs, and he's going to get direction. In regards to business ventures, business startups, Russell's actually the GOAT. It's unfortunate Russell has had issues in regards to certain things. Won't go into it. You can look it up. But in regards to business, business ventures, business startup, and to do it the right way, Russell Simmons is the GOAT. Literally the GOAT. He has helped a lot of young adults understand money, investments, protecting your money, protecting your investments. So it's nice to see that Kanye, what a difference a year makes. What a difference a year makes in regards to him being in love with someone that can assist, help. There's no drama. There's no issue. They're not seeking media attention. They're not seeking to manipulate the media. They're just out on a date night with some friends having a good time. So we're going to see more of them spending quality time out and about doing things. I'm sure it's a different vibe for him because every week he doesn't have to chase down and figure out what they're going to talk about, what they're going to do to try and get media attention. You understand what I'm saying? So many people, I did a video in regards to they're trying to make it seem as if North drew a picture and you can clearly see there's a lady that has a full set of nails on it's an adult hand you can fully see that it's someone else drawing that picture but the k's and the j's have people thinking that it's north and that's the sad part because kim was connected with kanye courtney and then it went from courtney to kim and chloe and then it's sad that chloe doesn't seem that she can find or have a good relationship and it seems like she's i feel like chloe's being manipulated by kim kim can have the praise the good relationships the good situations and then chloe's to have not so great of a situation around her have you ever thought about that it's kind of sad in a way it's kind of sad in a way because a long time ago, and that's maybe why so many videos are taken down, because a lot of us are really investigating how they are, how they move. Remember the video where Kim broke into um, Chloe's boyfriend's phone? And she was like, the girl was like, hey, Rashad, I miss you. Where you at, baby? I had a good time last night. And Chloe was like, what? You got into his voicemail and he's talking to other girls. And Kim was like, oh, Chloe, it's going to be okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry your relationship broke up. And then we see her spending quality time with Tristan. So there's something there. Well wishes to Chloe because that sister of hers is always trying to ma manipulate. Now, this is the other thing I feel. This is my opinion. I feel like she's trying to mold North into kind of helping her stay relevant. 
trying to help her trend, trying to help her name trend. Kanye need to keep an eye on them beautiful kids because I think that she'll do anything for attention. I think she'll do anything for, you know, a click in a view. I think she'll say anything. If it, This is the biggest thing. And stop playing with me. If a person is willing to lie about a picture, what else were they willing to lie about? The good thing is they showed the person who drew it. But people, I, I, I stopped respecting certain channels because it's clear that there's an adult drawing that one picture that they're trying to say North drew. And it's funny how a certain channel showed the video of the other person drawing it and they still didn't catch it. And then people are like, y'all can't be that foolish enough to not think that that girl, a beautiful daughter, that girl drew that. You see the adult hand. You see the adult nails. You see the 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 painting on the nails. You see the d design on the nails. And you see that her nails are not painted. Why would you say or think that she drew that? There's no way they're putting a full set of nails on a 9 or 10 year old girl. But well wishes. I'm wondering how Kanye feels about and has he caught it? Because, of course, he's looking at what his children are in. I'm wondering if Kanye caught what she, Kim is allegedly doing. The TikTok, he's probably like, okay, she's not going to stop. It's keeping her relevant. She's looking for a click and a view. But I'm sure after he starts feeling that, the K's and J's are using the children for something other than something positive. I'm wondering what Kanye will do. I remember watching a video in regards to him wanting to try and get custody of the children that was back then in 2020 21 and that's when he was dating the what was that I can't think of that girl's name um I can't think of the girl's name but yeah Kanye was dating someone in 2020 or 21 beautiful model beautiful model and they were basically saying to Kim do you feel that he's cheating and it's like you know we spent a lot of time apart you know I don't know what he basically does you know, in Utah, but well wishes. I think it's great that Kanye, Bianca are out and about spending time with friends. I think that it's great. He's trying to get his life in order. There's so many things that's going on. Allegedly, there's a documentary that's supposed to come out and it's about the life of Kanye. Um, they're talking about the controversial statements. I'll do a video more on that, but there's so much going on. Well wishes. You figure last year was a lot. He said it, he did it, and he has to figure out how he's going to regroup, rebrand. I told you guys, divorce isn't easy. Separation isn't easy. But when you're involved in a family that loves media, love drama, you got to be careful because you can get yourself caught up in it. And you see how he's so calm with Bianca? They don't even really talk and do anything in regards to the media. They keep to themselves and they're getting to know each other. I mean, you figure they've known each other for almost what? two years, a year or two, but what wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's nice that Kanye and Bianca are spending time with his friends. And like I said, Russell Simmons, he's the GOAT. He's a GOAT in regards to business. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Focus on healthy, safe relationships. Be around people that's loving, supportive, and kind.